metal wings to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code, pink code, Signs can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Signs can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code. Have I ever told you how much I love this spacecraft you've made? It's simply genius being out here in space. Nothing beats it. I'd say you're close to being a genius. Thanks, friend. I'd have to agree with you on that. I can't say it enough. Thanks so much for this ship. No problem, of course. With this thing, we can go anywhere. We can see the stars and the farthest nebulas, or even the smallest particles. What's next? Maybe time travel, or even dimensional travel. The possibilities are simply endless. Incredible! So if we can do all these awesome things, then tell me this. Why are we orbiting Earth watching some flies? Ugh. A marvel! This ship can withstand the hottest of temperatures or the coldest. Don't you know this ship has saved us from imminent disaster more times than I can count? It's almost disaster-proof. Phenomenal! I wouldn't mind a disaster right now. It'd be exciting. Oh, no. oh crash of little faith. <laughs> we'll be just fine, I think. I trust Pin's engineering knowledge wholeheartedly. Yes, fine indeed. <laughs> Oh, that wasn't so bad. Holy carrots! Hey, everyone okay? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Just shaking. Oh, 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 wow, we're lucky. We're all out. If we were in any other spacecraft, I think bouncing down to Earth might have had a lot more disastrous results. Yep, it's thanks to Pin's mastery that we were able to survive that crash. What a feat! Pin must be okay. His technical prowess will get us all back on the ship in no time at all. You guys know what this is? It looks complicated. Uh, do you think it's part of the ship? Well, I won't claim to understand the inner workings of the ship, but... If I may venture a guess, it looks like it could be the engine. Ha! If this is the engine, that means the ship can't fly at all. I'd say Pin crashed somewhere over this way. In fact, it can't be too far if the engine is here. You better be right. Well, you wanted a disaster crash. <laughs> Uh, oh boy. There's got to be some other way around. Don't know. Don't have time to find out. I've got an idea. 
We can go pull from above, and Daco can push. But look, Crash, surely there must be a less crude way of getting it up this hill. Hold on a second. One that doesn't hurt your hooves and uses a little more physics. Um, not that I'm opposed to a little physical labor, but I think we can brainstorm some more ideas here. <gasps> My brainstorm says less talking. <laughs> Yakking about science won't get us to the ship. Believe me, I want to get to the ship fast, too. I'm thinking we can save our energy a little bit and use some simple machines to get us up this hill a little easier. Since humans have existed, we've always tried to find easier ways to get our jobs done. See? Nice work. It doesn't always make sense to put in the maximum amount of effort. We can find simpler solutions in using the things around us. The concept is called simple mechanics. We first figured it out when we needed to push really, really heavy things up a hill. As you can imagine, just pushing something uphill can be super hard. But with simple mechanics, we can make a longer slope that decreases the incline. Now it's a whole lot easier. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. Now let's hop to it. Huh? Hang on! Stop in the name of science! This is easy, no prob. Here's my plan. First, we need to dig several miles of underground desert tunnels. But can't we just lift it? Well, I know I could, but... <laughs> nope. With the three of us, it's completely impossible. Time to live in the desert. But don't forget how simple mechanics can help us out. Like a giant electric crane, does that count? Oh, I think we can come up with something. When we need to lift something heavy, increasing the length of a slope can be helpful. But sometimes it just isn't enough. When that happens, we need to use another type of simple machine, one that helps with vertical problems, a pulley. Pulleys let us change the direction of the force we're applying. It takes less effort and allows us to redistribute the weight. But it looks like you might need more help. Ta-da! Two pulleys. By adding more pulleys, you can decrease the amount of effort needed to lift. Each pulley you add means a little more help. And that means that five pulleys are better than one. Good luck. Huh, that sounds fine and all, but where on earth will we find one? <laughs> Never fear, guys. Physics is on our side. <laughs> Every time you open your mouth, it's one less muscle helping us out. Come on! Oh, yes! Whoa! It's working! <laughs> Are we lost for good? I don't think so. We've only been walking in a straight line. I'm sure by the time we get back, Pin will be there. He'll have fixed the ship, and we'll bring the engine. He'll probably be so glad we'll have... Oh. So, this is new. <laughs> this one's gonna be fun, you guys. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's throwing a bunch of rocks. <laughs> you don't, by any chance, have a way to fix this with physics, do you? I actually do. There's a simple machine for anything. So we've gone over slopes and pulleys. These are some of the best ways ancient humans learned to move heavy objects with the least amount of force. However, things aren't always so simple. Sometimes you can't help having obstacles in your way. That's life, right? For these moments, you need something called a lever. A lever is, no, no, wrong. A lever allows you to lift heavy objects in the same way a pulley does, by redistributing the force. 
However, you need something called a fulcrum to make the lever work. With a fulcrum, you can lift crazy heavy objects, so heavy you never even thought possible. The physics rule behind it is, you push down on the long side of your lever, and the shorter side can lift the object. Your force is being multiplied by the length of the lever. Theoretically, if you had a lever that was long and strong enough, you could lift something as heavy as a planet. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. You already know how levers work if you play on a seesaw or use a wheelbarrow. Even a simple broom. Fishing rods use the same technique in their reels. Scissors use the same concept, and so do nutcrackers. See, I bet you've been using levers your entire life without even knowing it. He needs the engine? Looks like he's just fine without it. Hang on! You need your oh, engine! Oh, Stop! Don't leave us! Oh, I can't you'll bring that magnificent oh. ship back Pin, here! We have your engine! Oh. Pin! Stop! <laughs> oh, you're alive! I'm glad you made it back in one piece, Crash! I was about to take to the air to see if I could spot you in the <laughs> desert, but you beat me to it! <laughs> I knew your ship was impressive, but this is wild! Don't worry now, we've brought back the engine safe and sound! What are you talking about? The engine's inside the ship! Nothing was damaged! Then what's this thing we dragged back? Oh! <laughs> that old thing is basically a pile of trash! It hasn't worked in years! I was waiting for a chance to throw it out! Oh. <gasps> you all seem tired. What's wrong? You walk far? Well... I suppose physics can't help us in every situation. Like, give us common sense. 